Welcome to the ninth video of this series of SQL Basics. In this session, we will learn about functions and nested functions. Uh, all the functions are, if you go to database, for example, we are using clinical system database, then go to programmability, and there are functions where you could see system functions. And uh, for example, there are some string functions and uh, date and time functions. So let's get started. We are using clinical system database. Select all from TV allocation. Let's see the results first. So this is showing all the results from this uh, operation table. Um, let's choose a field let's choose operation name name field and to use a function will be like a second field we are using one of the functions one of the string functions called upper and the arguments are it's going to be name of the field operation name and we let's say we call it aliases upper and this one as name when we run execute this it's displaying all the name uh, in uppercase let's try another function it's called replace replace and we need to give name of the field or string operation name and then the second uh, one is like what exactly we are looking for um, as you can see some of the options are like radiotherapy chemotherapy so let's say we f we are we try to find therapy uh, and then uh, let's change it to the word treatment so if you want to replace um, the word therapy these letters from this field uh, to this we will use a replace function when we run this as you can see radiotherapy has become a radio uh, treatment chemo treatment and so on let's try another function it's called a reverse reverse function and if we put name of field operation name as reverse change this one as um, call it treatment when we run this as you can see the word radiotherapy um, is is in reverse order all those letters radiotherapy so this is what how uh, what functions do some of the string functions we use there are some more string functions you can use any of those according to your requirements let's try another function date and time function that we need to delete these fields and bring a date time field here so that will be operation date operation date as date run this and uh, the, uh, this is the date and time of uh, operation date so we are going to use first one is date name date name function and then we could tell the system what exactly we're looking for for a year we could give uh, four y's or two y's like if we're putting two y's in there then it will bring up uh, name of the year in two digits uh, i'm going to bring in four digits the er in operation date and then we 
run this it is showing uh, the year from this date 1993 2002 and so on let's try another one date name this time we are looking at month mm comma operation date when we run this it's displaying as uh, name from uh, this date July 07 from there June 06 from there and so on let's also pick up the day uh, part from this date time DD comma operation date so when we run this so it's showing us 16th of July 1993 this is what it says 1607-1993 let's try another function these uh, date and time functions are all listed in here let's try another function called uh, uh, diff the day function the day function um, help us to find uh, the difference between two dates for example this patient we add another field called a rough date when the patient was referred for the treatment and update when the patient had the um, operation done so we are looking at how many days uh, the, um, uh, how long did uh, the person took to from referral day to treatment day so we are looking at number of days comma referral date comma operation date so what we are doing here is we are using the dip function and we are looking at number of days how many days is the difference from referral date to uh, operation date so when we run this it, it displays us uh, for the first patient uh, it took 31 days uh, from referral date to treatment date second one is 61 and so on in the last one uh, last few of them there was no referral date uh, it was null so it couldn't calculate the difference so that's why it's displaying null values in there um, there is also if for example we want to find out uh, today's date and time um, uh, the function called get date get date function and there are no arguments so it's going to be blank because it will pick up uh, today's date uh, from the system if we run this so it's displaying today's date and time so this is how we use uh, functions let's try some nested functions uh, how we could nest one function with the other one for example here uh, what we do we are going to use uh, same date diff function this one let's copy Control C, Control V there, and then uh, rather than using operation date um, or referral date, let's delete referral date from there. And then if we need to know uh, how many days since uh, the opera uh, operation was done uh, on a particular record, so if we use get date function there, then it will. Uh, this uh, function will find out since the patient had the uh, operation done uh, from today how many days the difference is so this patient uh, had a procedure done on 16th of July 1993 and today is 21st of Feb 2016 so the difference is 8255 days we could also replace this with uh, let's see with months if uh, if you want to know how many months since the patient had this operation done so if we run again it's, it's showing us 271 months and similarly if we need to know 
how many years since the patient had a procedure so if we use this yy it will sh uh, show us the first record uh, uh, it's been 23 years since the patient had a procedure done uh, 275, uh, 271 months or 8255 days so this is how we could use nested function day diff is a function and get date is another function so we nested get there inside the diff function uh, let's try a couple of uh, string functions to do some nesting uh, let's choose operation data again uh, operation name again operation name as operation and then we use replace function uh, in our example replace so what we did last time we did operation name uh, and find the word therapy and repl replace it with uh, treatment this is what we did earlier let's run this so uh, wherever it is showing radiotherapy it is showing uh, now replacing the word therapy with treatment showing radio radio treatment now what we do we uh, in fact we also use another function that was upper yeah upper and then operation name let's say upper alias and delete the name is incorrect OP yeah, operation operation and that's fine now okay and uh, we call this as replace and run this mm, where is the error oh yeah that one run this so first function is changing the case from lowercase to uppercase the other one is changing the name uh, from therapy to treatment so what we do now is we use replace function and operation name comma therapy now we are going to change it uh, with treatment but we are going to uh, nest upper function uh, inside replace function so we, we could use upper and then we could put in treatment treatment close the bracket and then close another bracket for replace function when we run this what it is doing now is where you could see uh, it has changed from radiotherapy to radio treatment and in this case it is displaying radio treatment but part of the field uh, treatment is showing in uppercase because we nested upper inside replace function there is another function which is called a replicate replicate function operation name comma two what it does it replicates whatever the string is uh, in here is before the comma and we put two so it will replicate it twice as you can see it's showing ra radiotherapy radiotherapy twice in there that's also one of the string functions where you could see in here string functions replicate that function we just used let's try uh, to uh, nest couple of functions inside uh, replicate function so for that purpose replicate open bracket what we do is we just copy this part of a nested function without the comma control C and put it inside the bracket control V and then close the bracket for this function 
um, there is still red squiggly bracket underneath which means uh, yeah because we didn't give the uh, complete the function so what we uh, uh, we need to tell as here we did like how many times we want to repeat so we need to tell how many times we want to repeat let's say let's repeat it twice when we run this you can see um, it has replaced the actual word radiotherapy with radio treatment and not only with treatment but it has changed the case from lowercase to uppercase uh, part of the string as treatment and then when we use replicate function it replicated uh, the same uh, string twice so this is how we could nest functions we nested upper function inside a uh, replace function and then we um, uh, nested this part of um, these two functions inside replicate function this is how we could nest different functions uh, i hope you enjoyed this video please post your comments and feedback there are more videos available to watch and learn from so please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial